Hey everybody, welcome to uh, the Rust Brothers. Every dang Sunday, and indeed this Sunday is a special one because uh, Betty is not here. Uh, Sophie is here. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Sophie Rust. Sophie is, uh, of course, short for Sophocles, and uh, Betty is uh, Bethlehem. But uh, Betty and Sophie are just uh, better for patter, at the very least. And uh, as a folk duo, the Rust brothers are famous for their back and forth when confronted with uh, challenges that must be addressed in the moment. For instance, we are playing in uh, Connecticut once. I don't remember this this town, something like Nor Norf Norf Norfolk? Is that a town in Connecticut? Not sure. I was in this place, whatever it was, and uh, we were up on stage. We were about to play the armadillo number that we wrote for the operetta we were commissioned to do about the, uh, the history of uh, the panhandle, uh, Oklahoma's panhandle. And uh, we were about to do that. Sound suddenly gave out. So then suddenly we were, uh, we were there. We couldn't patter. The people couldn't hear us from where they were sitting. We were in a big old place with terrible acoustics. So me and Sophie did what we do best, and that's innovate in the moment. We gave them a mime presentation they will never forget, and we will never be able to replicate. Nobody filmed it, but uh, there was a review written. If you look up whatever that town was, Norfolk? So Norfolk something? Norfolk River, perhaps? Anyway, welcome to the Rust Brothers. I'm going to play you a song. May as well play that armadillo song I mentioned. Uh, everybody knows what operetta is, right? It's that delightful... Gilbert and Sullivan invention uh, that, that hides uh, racism in plain sight with a, a sentimental twist. I mean, like, you care about the racial stereotypes that are presented. That's what operetta is all about. Um, so we're trying to work against that history. Make sure that the characters we were creating for, uh, for the Oklahoma Panhandle historical operetta we were commissioned to do we wanted to make sure we were sketching out humanity on stage. People in Oklahoma don't know nothing about it. But who does? Of their heads that are not binocular vision. It seems like they'd be able to look both ways at once if they were really trying to do that. Are you suicidal? My little scaly sonic friend, are you ready to cross to the other side? sort of a character sketch in the middle of something. There's a response song from the Armadillos. I better do that one too. Seems wrong not to give that character his due. Excellent. 
excellent. Here's the response song from the armadillo. an 18 wheeler wheel by wheel just to show off it is a dazzling stage sequence to see you got 18 wheels on stage each played by a full-grown human person and uh, when when he gets to the other side of the 18 wheeler then there's a, an exhaust cloud that he sort of appears out of it's a quite the spectacle. All right, how's this? You can still see me? Oh, I'm underneath my words. That's not fun. Well, I'll stand up in a second, okay? I'll compose down here and stand up. gain all the way down. I guess I'll just turn down the volume a little bit. All right, how's that? Oh, I see. that's not functioning the way I want it to. Oh, man, I had a heck of a song. I'll give it one more go, okay? Move the end down. Move it over there. And then give it just a little juice. Let's see if that works. gentle elderly woman I hope you are not a 
just zooming Then I got a little bit of dough to sling uh, Everybody goes through things And now I'm saying things Didn't expect to be coming out of my mouth Sorry lady can I spend the day with you? Oh, sorry lady. Can I spend the day with you? Sorry lady. Can I spend the day with you? That's fine. Come along, Sonny. We went to the sunshine, and she was pretty funny. Oh, she smelled like old wine, and she was muddy. Uh, but by the time we got back to the subway, we were buddies. And she loved me, and I loved her. Now, Lily Woman. So glad I discovered her. Will you spend the day with me? Won't you please spend the day with me? Won't you please spend the day with me? Won't you please spend the day with me? Won't you It is a huge hit, um, and uh, we had gotten letters from people who decided to spend their time with people in their community. This song was sexy as fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Can you sing a song about sexy late night improv sessions? Well, I guess I kind of did. I didn't say that it was during the night time. I mean, I said spend the day with me, but in the moment it was a piece of irony in there. It sprinkled in. Say, hey, why don't you spend the day with me? It's nighttime outside. A delightful uh, incongruity of language produces a uh, humor. Caught the mic stand in it. I'm off beat. See, see what happens when I try to inspire myself? so finicky. I'm turning you off. Ain't no input needed. Assurances, assuring me, 
It's gonna go all right when I cook it. I'm gonna be just fine. Hey, look, it worked. Ah, it's gonna go all right when I cook it. When I cook it, look, it works. There are some marketplace jerks. They'll tell you truth because it hurts. And say I got to you first. What are you so averse to? Sometimes marketplaces are super Sometimes you don't know Gary Cooper's name Until someone says Hey, you resemble him Then your Kremlins And your uh, Washington DCs I feel like a bunch of me seeks Dead people that look like me, please. There's never been a me tree. I didn't fall far from it. I just added it up numbers. I sum it until I reached the peak. Then I uh, geek about the freaks. That one was uh, entertaining to me. Not that they aren't all are, but when I find myself in a situation where I'm not sure what's coming next, boy, that, that fear lights a uh, fire under you. And, and then you're uh, popping like some corn. All right. This is a recent acquisition, so I'm uh, gonna do only the things that I can, which I think has been true for uh, both my essence and my existence, whichever came first. Oh, we're gonna just use buttons. I think I definitely need a beat for this one. Come here. Out of this mic stain. This murderous, treacherous Amazon purchase. It served me well. The, the anger is misplaced. the castle friends but that's not 
how this asshole ends. I took a torch that wasn't mine, no. Carried it along a long while, no. Limits on my love. No limits on my inconsideration. No limits on my love. No limits on my inconsideration. Sin has been my way. When you feel okay, you're in for a surprise. There's a smile behind the crying in your eyes. No limits. No limits. down the minutes before you were finished. I took a raccoon, kind enough to skin it. Kind enough to take its body apart slowly and use chemical processes to make it into a commercially sellable item for my shop. They got a raccoon problem. No, I'm never gonna stop. When we entered this castle, we were friends. But this asshole never ends. Me playing the accordion badly is not unlike lo-fi hip-hop, is it? Oh dear, that was a banjo resonator that just fell down. You know, most people think banjos are pretty loud. They don't know that they come with resonators that make them even louder. You tighten up a drum like a snare and, and it uh, uh, sends sound waves so fast and so far. I mean, think about it. It's like taking the sail from a sailboat and, and just whipping it at somebody at an extreme speed. Pop! And the air goes, ah! Uh, like being in an elevator and you get to the top and you just bounce a little bit. Or when you uh, start to know your own weight as a dancer and things jiggle. All similar feelings. Which is why we wrote a song. We had been in Tennessee uh, and Sophie was, Sophie currently is up in Kalamazoo. He has some business to take care of with an Armenian company that we were hired to do some industrial work for. They need instructional videos for their factory. They make uh, pencils that have custom school names on them for fundraising purposes, you know. Oh, you get, a, you get a pencil. What an encouraging reward for your work. Just a fable for the kitchen table. Just a fable for the kitchen table. Long before 
five, six, was an office. We lost it, went crazy. Uh, that's why we're taking posters and pasting up on walls to remind all the young what uh, 2016 to 2020 call out to the void. Oh, what we said when we were very annoyed. When we were very annoyed. We could never avoid it. We were very annoyed. Very annoyed. Riding along in the hills, far past the cities and civilizations, was of a freedom fighter. Yes, her name was Karnak. No relation. On her back she carried a broad sword. And you had to take that broad's word. You had to move that broad's way. And there's nothing odd that you could say that she wouldn't retort. Such, such a good sport. Good in the sport. Good in the court. Or the casual. And she, of course, wears her scorps fashionable. Lasting impressions on the impassable when she asked them her questions and then sallied off. Uh, but she died at the Cali Cough. She died at the Cali Cough. The Cali Cough. The Cali Cough. Bizarre, isn't it? Sitting at a kitchen table in the future, reflecting on the incredible Karnak. As if she lived in some world different from ours. But no, we're surrounded with her resources. Maybe if we have the courage. The courage! We may ride forth from those who are immovable. To the mountains! To the land! For after all, isn't property ownership what this land was founded upon? But you want to hear it, it sounds like double time, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, another hit in the, the Germanic region. After the industrial stuff came out from craft work, it was like, everybody was racing to find a machine that would make them sound like a future alien robot. I'd like to think we got there uh, pretty quickly. Oh, it's fire! That's good news. I gotta go look at what time it is because it don't have a separate device with a clock on it. Nobody has clocks anymore, do they? Gotta use this alarm. That's why I got this one. I like it because it lights up blue makes the room look mystical. Alright, let's hit it on the Barry Tenor guitar again. It's a Barry Tenor because uh, the A string is not all the way up where it usually would be on a tenor guitar. If you're keeping track, 
I, it's an octave down from where it should be. So instead of sounding like, um, there it is. So it's sounding like that, it sounds like this. Totally different vibe. It's like, oh, reassurance at the end. It also changes the chord structures, which I appreciate. Not because I was like, this is what I intentionally want to do, but because getting a unique sound is always an encouraging step. I'm taking encouraging steps. Wasting my time. Sublime, my pine cone, my, my pine cone, my, I'm growing no so slow. My big old trunk I thought I'd never forget You'll have to cut me open How many rings were you hoping for? Bark, bark I'm hoping you'll ignore me Bork, bork Aaron Sorkin -y. With all this dialogue Gentlemen, call me. Showing off my collar. Taking down my calendar. Uh, that was a. That was something that fit into the, the world of ska and the world of punk without being too revolutionary, you know, too active. It's not like an anarchist punk, but it is a, a, a ska band nerdish. It's a, a skunk song, if you will. Um, not a skank song or a skink song. Skink songs can be submerged, uh, but they can't, not for too long. And uh, skank songs are... Uh, songs where you can do a dance where you kick and throw your elbows out and that is the definition I'd like to use all right don't get on me about that one I don't need to spend another two hours explaining what gender means to people I, I didn't like that sequence at all that, that felt like I was building tension in King of the Hill or maybe like uh... Oh dear.
practice is doing wrong is your loud best practice is doing wrong as you're allowed and you are allowed to claim it not here to shame it not here to shave it Just gotta locate it Just gotta wait it out And you can make without myself a little room on here to play. to be in the key of F. Disappointed. I don't have more spirits, but uh, I'll work my joints and hear it calling out when it crackles. And my walls need spackle. My house needs uh, a new supply of fishing tackle. But thanks for coming. friends that leave. 
I have stayed puff. So getting ready is something I don't need. Like HR, I am resource human HR. I am the stuff you are assuming HR. Why does the Latin lumen light Lucifer's ray? That was a blast and a half. I think I got one more for you, and uh, it's going to involve um, my hands, first of all. I'm going to use my hands. <laughs> it's going to be so dumb. All right, enough echo, please. Don't need that. Fight me, 
guess my guiding light is a white beam. <laughs> is that unsightly? Sorry that the sight of me is frightening, unsettling. Wetting your blade is meddling. Don't you sharpen up for no reason. If you're feeling flat, come in. It's the season. I can take your blade and hone it. If you are forbidden, moan it. Cause I'll be moan it. And you'll be moan enough. Lisa smiling. Keep waiting for a major key to happen. It just does it. I'm gonna make one. Mona Lisa smiling. So thank goodness you got the piece of that I was hoping for. No, you're the soap on the rope from the store. Uh, a special gift that lifts me before I get out the door. You gift me and I re-gift you. If you need help, I will assist you. Uh, what do we raise a fist to? And, uh, vicissitude? Clarissa didn't explain that in her A2. And I may do some hey Jude. Uh, and it's okay to. <laughs> like nobody may do. I mean, no body made you. Two bodies made you. Possibly three. Or four, I forgave you. Uh, somebody save you. Small, vil, I didn't pay to view. Easily free, Superman is easily Every one of you and me, alien, staying on a planet cause uh, we feel that there's something we could help with cause, uh, like cousin, <laughs> I'm jumping off the bluff, now I'm bluffing, your Mona Lisa smiling, I'm eating the stuffing. Uh, I caught the puffins, McGuffin. Now he is upset. But the law of the birds hasn't gotten up yet. Haven't refilled my coffee cup yet. Another upset. Have you said yup yet? Thanks for coming. Uh, this has been the Rust Brothers. We do this every Sunday. I implore you to come back and view again when uh, when, when Sariel is here. Uh, he pl <laughs> he plays Betty. I'm I'm Robert. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'll post it on the TV. So if you want to show someone else what this is, you can. Just go to socially distant improv under their IGTV icon, and you can go to series and then scroll through a bunch of different people creating their own TV shows right now. It's happening quickly that we are becoming independent content creators by necessity, um, um, and also finding the joys of being able to, uh, well, definitely look back at improvisational performances consistently. So many improv shows go untaped. And if you're a good coach, you watch the game footage, right? Uh, so I, I hope more people are forced to take a look at themselves in the right ways, in the constructive ways, because that's what that's what we're working toward, right? The constructive ways. <laughs> in and out of Texas. Uh, see you next Sunday, y'all. Thanks. Bye, Robert. Thanks for the show. Oh, thank you, Arlene. See you later.